All right, parents of growing gorillas and growing gorillas themselves. I'm here with Chris. I'm gonna show you our techniques for July. So, our first one is just a mount escape called the elbow escape. And I need his arms or his chest down. If he does sit up, I will bump him or I put my leg right in the middle of his, uh, right at his tailbone, I bump him down. The elbow escape is called the elbow escape because of this elbow connecting on the inside of the knee here. And, but I don't want to be that technical with kids. So if he goes chest to chest with me, but his leg is stretched back, I'm, I will, I'm still also going to use my hand to come down onto the knee. But the critical point is to control the knee. So the, the basic move is going to look like this. I'm going, I'm getting under, getting this half guard and finishing up on my elbow by some means. That's our real emphasis is that get on the elbow, okay? So one more time, I'll go with a little more detail. I'm here, I'm getting in on this. I can't do it when he's upright because he'll have too much weight in his leg, so I may need to bring him over by bumping him from behind. Now, Chris is being nice. He's kind of making it so that we can see. I'm gonna be up like this, yeah. All right. My elbow's connecting here. I put, I bring one leg up on this side. I'm, actually, let's turn around. So you guys can see this. What my feet are doing is quite important. I need connection either with elbow on the knee or hand on the knee. This foot comes up, the opposite side there, and this allows me to turn and put my foot on toes on the ground. Now my knee drives under. I'm going to pinch the knees. And this follows up with what we did last month, which is I don't want the knees to face this way, although they will initially. I'm going to turn them and turn my hip out as well. They can wrap the leg now, it doesn't really matter to me. This arm's coming under. I want my underhook, I want my shoulder to go into his armpit. And now from here, this left hand that, that was on the ground, I want to get from my shoulder to my elbow. I might go under to get to my elbow. I might go over to get to my elbow. We want them up because from here, they have some chance of getting on top. Whereas if they stay with their shoulders on the ground, the kids always get mauled from there, okay? What we're working on in the second week, have your head here, put me in the clothes guard, is opening the clothes guard. We're gonna be emphasizing, you know, being able to get myself upright and be able to keep myself up with my posture. So once I'm up, my tailbone is tucking while my back stays straight here, okay? And we're gonna be working on guard break. My shoulders are a little behind my tailbone. I'm gonna have one hand in front, I'm gonna put one hand down in here. So the other side from my knee. Put this here like this. And now from here, I'm going to pack that shoulder in and put my weight down in through this and start getting over this leg, okay? And we call that jailbreak. Sometimes we call this here the swan hand. Once I have the swan hand, we're gonna emphasize maintaining this. If he pulls me back down in, I'm gonna keep that swan hand. If he opens his leg to attack at any time, I can bring that leg down and start to get over, okay? Last technique, we're gonna to go to standing. We're working on, it's not really a takedown as much as a move to like off balance them and it's the snap down, okay? The snap down just looks like this, we bring them down. The critical detail here is my body is like a whip. I go up on my heels, and my elbows go up, and I'm transferring a lot of power through that, aren't I? Yeah, you feel that, right? Whereas, if I still have my arms, yeah, it's hard. Like, even if you're really relaxed, it's like, sometimes you get it if you're super strong, but regardless of where I grip, I'm coming up and pulling, okay? You know, emphasizing getting on top, rotating and stuff, but, you know, the, the snap down is not really a takedown by itself. I can add to that, I can come up and go back a little bit, step back a little bit to actually bring them all the way down. You can do snap down, snap down, snap down. That's how some people play. We just want to get it into the kind of vocabulary of the kids of thinking to put the snap down motion into them. You can do it no E2, where I'm here again. Like, and you feel that that strength, whereas if I just try to pull without that whip, 
there's not much power to it, right? Like, so that's what we want the kids to work on this month. Uh, bring them to class.